Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Series Futsal for the 2023.2 season, round one in the third game of the evening. It's a game of the night between Camberfield and Hume, coming to you live from the Series Futsal Arena in Thomastown. My name is Alex Sifkoroski, and joining me is Eunice. Eunice, what a game we got on our hands here between two teams that were going at it. Hardy now has to ensure that he doesn't give away any bad fouls as Turner now. Ball over the top. Joel De Silva. What a finish from Joel De Silva. My word, was that an absolute ripper of a goal. He wound back the clock there. And Joel De Silva gets an absolute ripper and gets Camberfield off to a great start here. Talk us through it, Eunice. Wow, what a goal. That is probably... Look at that left foot volley. Bang. Patea has no chance. From an impossible angle. Impossible. But then he waited for it. Almost worked there, but... Mohamed Temul just gets in the way. Temul now has got the whole team to beat. Challenge came through. Turkman, and he buried that one. It's a good finish. Omar Turkman makes it 1-1. And Huma back in it. Talk us through this one, Yunus. Lovely captain's goal here. Obviously, it's Omar Turkman taking advantage of the advantage call for Mohamed Temul. Lovely 360 here. Look at that. It's obviously a foul. Everybody stops playing. Turkman goes right for it. Bottom corner. Aaron Yu, Golden Glove winner, has no chance to stop that. 1-1 with eight minutes to go. Temel, Hardy, gives it away. Chance, and he buries it again, and it's that man, Joel De Silva. He's on fire, and Hume's defense can't contain him. He gets another a response quickly, and it's 2-1. Talk us through this one, Eunice. Look at this. It's just, uh, Joel De Silva here wins the ball for his team. He's got two men to beat, so he's like, I've got to shoot. And just right between the legs, and he knows it instantly. He should have just stayed one. Hey, we'll look at that one, goes through the legs. Oh, Aaron, you big diving save. Chance again, and it's Turkman again. And it's the Omar Turkman and Joel the Silver show. It is 2-2, great response from Hume. And we've got a shootout here. It Eunice, is, talk us through it. It is an old school Western shootout. Turkman's got two, the Silver's got two. And look at Nurusahin, it's a lovely shot, lovely save. Aaron, you can't do any better. Has to just pick a side and throw it at it. And it's just the captain Turkman right there. He's second captain. And if you're a neutral fan here, you're loving this because it is two teams going at it. And, oh, and they sneak another one through and they make it 3-2. Hume have hit the lead. And it's Muhammad Temul this time. Let's have a look at it here from a set play. Here it is before we go to the timeout. It's, it's a reward of Hume's pressing moments on to lead to the side ball. Muhammad Temul knows he's going to hit this straight away. Aaron, you can't see a thing. It, well on him to even get a touch on it. And it's 3-2 to Hume. What a comeback in the last minute. It is a time. Scott Belides. Oh, he puts it in the hot spot, but no one's there to tap it in. And that's the halftime break here in... Yes, please. And uh, we're going to show you a replay of uh, Joel De Silva's first goal. Let's just have a look at it here. It's an absolute ripper. It was a long ball over the top and from an impossible angle. You can see Mohamed Fateh there just frozen in time. That's how good it was. We'll go to a quick ad break. We'll be back right after this. Don't go away. Plenty of football still left to come. <laughs> Mohamed Fateh makes a big save. Well, Eunice, they just can't seem to beat Hume's defence or the keeper at the moment. It's Turner, and he finally breaks it. Nathaniel Turner gets the first goal for his Camberfield career, and he makes a 3 0 talk it through this one, Eunice. Such an important goal by Nathaniel Turner here, and you're going to see it on the replay right now. Before this play, Hume's defence was absolutely, you couldn't get past it. Blocks galore. Mohamed Fateh making stops, but this is no chance. Mohamed Fateh can't see anything. He's blocked by Aaron Field there. Um, and it's just absolutely superb. So Camberfield got that goal. De Marais, Scopolides, De Marais, and the King gets it back. They hit the lead with back-to-back -back goals, and we've got another shootout again. Great finish there from the King. Talk us through this one, Eunice. Wow. Imagine how one goal could change the game. Camberfield have now lit the spark, and they've got the ignition. One-two play, Scopolides and uh, the King, De Marais. Oh, here we go again. Scopolides trying to create some space and he puts it away. And Darcy Scopolides might have just won them the game. He scores their fifth 
And that's a beautiful finish. Talk us through it, Eunice. Yeah, this two-goal gap was key. We discussed it before. If Campbell get a two-goal gap, it probably is game over. Scopolini is superb. Back turn a goal. Fatia could not... Possible as you quick release. De Moraes now. That's Pimenta. Pimenta and Pimenta just wraps it up and seals it for Camberfield. 6-3. They will take this one out and talk us through this one, Eunice. Here's the replay and it's just an unfortunate ricochet for Hume that's led to their downfall here with this goal. And it's just uh, Dimaraes, he wanted to switch play. The ricochet of Temel goes straight to Pimenta and he knows he just gotta, he's got to hit it and it's going in and it does. They lead six goals to three. Fancy should have just put it away. Joel the Silva, he puts it away. He gets a hat trick, and the Silver Man has definitely done it now. And he will be happy with his performance tonight. He's well back the clock and scored three great goals. Talk us through this one, Eunice. Yeah, it's just uh, obviously the fifth man going against you. Here it is, Pimenta with the corner. The Nathaniel Turner makes a lovely run inside. It gets followed. That leaves the silver to be free. He shoots. He scores. Game over. Pick up their points. One second to go, and that's game. Well, it was a solid performance from Camberfield. They were tasked with a big, big game opening round against Hume, a, a team that has uh, done some damage last season. And tonight they were no different. They came out. It was a shootout in the end. Hume hit the lead 3-2, but then... Camberfield put four past them and they take the point. Stay tuned, we'll have a player interview coming up right after this. Don't go away. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Player interview with Matt of the Match, Joel the Silver. Joel, congratulations. Uh, great win, but great performance from yourself. Talk us through that game. Thank you, man. Like, that's my first game, I think, uh, since the uh, Club's Cup I played. See, even last season, I didn't play much. Um, I think I played only two rounds six or seven mm -hmm. and then um, I had a, a baby and I had to stop there for a while yeah but I'm very very happy to come to come back and play with the boys your first goal we were talking through it is one of the best goals we've seen so this year yep. talk us through how you felt did you just know it was going in from your angle nah, no idea man it just came I just you know the first instinct you have is the first touch yeah and uh, as the boys say it's like a, a ride a bicycle you never never forget, you never forget. yeah you guys were down uh, a goal at half time. What was the message from the coaching staff for the second half? We consider this, are you? You, you were down a goal, so yeah, you yeah, were so down there. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so uh, our message is always the same. It doesn't change. It's like it, we're going to keep going to the last whistle, and that's all we did. Um, we came back into the game, and uh, unfortunately, we caught another two goals after that. And then we, we, uh, we played good enough to, to come back again in the game. So we, good, we have good quality in the, in the team. It's just. Uh, First, first game is always like that. It's always be rough. Always be like players getting together, start gelling, start start of the season. So it's always like that. You got a new player in Nathaniel Turner in your team tonight. Uh, how does he fit into the squad? Because he's obviously come across from Carlton, different yes. playing styles. Yep. How does he fit into the squad? I think Nathaniel not not gonna take long to fit in our team. Uh, I play with him in, uh, back in Pasco He mm. was like probably 15 or something. Yeah. It's very very I'm very you know happy to see. He, the way he's playing at the moment, how he improved, uh, moving clubs, Carlton, Pascove, you know, yeah. with us. He, he's a quality player. It's just, you know, he's very young and, he's, uh, as I say, he's not going to take long to gel with us. Well, congratulations Thank on the win. Man. Good luck for the rest of the season. Thank you, man. Stay tuned. We've got another big game. It is Moreland versus Preston coming up right after this. Don't go away.